Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's No Hassle Social Media, the ultimate done-for-you content program. Finally, a fast and easy way to keep feeding your content is king marketing machine. No Hassle Social Media makes it fast and easy to build profitable client relationships using the power of social media, blogs, video, and article marketing. Check it out today at www.nohasslesocialmedia.com. Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. Coming to you this week from Dallas, Texas, I'm at the Glazer Kennedy Marketing and Money Making Super Conference and always running into some great friends of mine, including this guy right here, Niall Nickel. Niall, how you doing, buddy? Great to see you again. Great to see you. That's, by the way, before we get to LinkedIn, which is why I have Niall, who's like the premier LinkedIn expert in the United States. Is it worldwide or just the United States? I, worldwide sounds it's so much let's, better. Yeah, let's, it? let's dominate. So, but the real big lesson, I always say this, and I think I even posted on Facebook as I'm recording this a couple days ago, you want to get out from behind your computer and come to events. Sometimes you're going to write down some nuggets, you're going to learn something, but really the most important thing is you're going to connect with people face to face outside of the, the, you know, the email and just the occasional phone call or whatever it is. And, and connecting with people is one of the best ways you're going to grow your business. So having said that, the little voice said, get back on track. And um, so Niall, um, full disclosure, Niall's in my coaching program. We've been friends for, we figured out at least six years, I think. And um, yep. Niall is into a lot of different things, but we're going to focus today on LinkedIn because so many people talk about Facebook and Twitter and other things, but LinkedIn has really rocketed, um, not with a lot of fanfare, but I think rocketed as far as being a totally effective way to meet other prospective clients and things like that. So. Niall's been on my program probably three or four times, probably almost as much as anybody, but it's been about six or eight months. So what's the latest with LinkedIn, Niall? The latest with LinkedIn is if you happen to look at, at LinkedIn's uh, news feed okay. or, or wall for people that might be more familiar with the Facebook terminology, mm -hmm. uh, it started to look much more like Facebook, yep. meaning there's pictures in there, there's graphics. Yeah. It's becoming a little bit more personable. Personality is coming into it. So some of the things that you may not have done on LinkedIn six months ago are now not only appropriate, but helpful to do on LinkedIn. Are they taking a lesson from Facebook or are they doing anything different to, you know? They're absolutely taking okay. a, a lesson from uh, Facebook. Okay. The reason for that is, is what Facebook has found, and not just Facebook, I mean, there's a great Nielsen study from a few years ago mm -hmm. that said when there is, there are images that are attached to the content, that content happens to be consumed enormously like more. 70 or 80 percent or something yeah, big, huge huge yeah. numbers so Facebook was was not growing anywhere near as rapidly or LinkedIn wasn't growing as right. rapidly as Facebook everybody thought of it as like the place for your resume right it's like the professional everybody it was either the the, the resume <laughs> site or your online Rolodex right and of course it's really so much more mm -hmm. but Facebook uh, taught LinkedIn so much from the mobile experience Mobile is driving all of social media. Yeah, yeah. I mean, social media, you could almost take social out and say it's mobile media mm -hmm. because mobile right now is where people are consuming this okay. content. And what happens to catch people's attention when they're mobile and they're moving around? You've got a shorter time frame. So that image is really what wow. captures it. That's really cool. So, it's fair to say two years ago even people thought of it again it's the professional resume place where you go connect you're very business like but what I've learned and again from the, the news feed and the way it goes things that I post on Facebook with images and other things I pretty much can post those same thing on LinkedIn it used to be like with some social media platforms you clean it up or you have to make it uh, very friendly to that platform but I'm really finding LinkedIn is very much like using Facebook as far as communicating information it's become a lot closer to that mm -hmm. you know you, you still may not post your Friday night uh, party pictures true or your your vacation pictures mm -hmm. but some of the content sharing that you do that's interactive and meant to be engaging it's now absolutely appropriate on LinkedIn yeah so what do you think so mobile is definitely big what do you think is like 
because Niall travels around the country speaking about LinkedIn. You've got a great um, membership program and some training that we'll, we'll get to in a second. But what do you think is the next thing? If people have been sitting on the sidelines thinking, ah, LinkedIn's not quite for me, what would you say to them You know, in the next 30 seconds or a minute? What would you say, you've got to get on LinkedIn for this reason or this reason or this reason? Well, everybody, as, as you've said, thinks LinkedIn just is a, a resume site or a mm -hmm. Rolodex. And LinkedIn is absolutely positive positively, that was hard to say, <laughs> the best way to get connected and known for what you want to brand yourself for. Mm. There isn't a better tool, which sounds strange. And that's not true for just LinkedIn. You do it on LinkedIn, it spreads to the internet and you could be found anywhere. Okay. So are you talking about the way they name themselves or they title posts or when you're saying it's a great way to brand yourself? Is it just the information or you're hiding a little factoid you probably want people to go to your site for? But I, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> you know, and this, this may sound like a corny answer and it may sound like a cop out. Okay. But it's really all of that. Okay. So, you know, I go back to that really broad umbrella, mm -hmm. whatever you want to be branded for. You're going to do that through content posting. Right. You're going to do it through proper structuring of your profile, building your profile out right. You're going to use groups on LinkedIn, not talked about very that's much. That's a big thing, groups. You're not, you're going to do it through your company page, okay. also something that's not talked about much. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole umbrella of stuff on LinkedIn. Most people put their resume up there if they will bad term for it by the way right but that's the way they approach it and they don't get much value out of it for simply that reason there's so much to learn about LinkedIn it's clear Niall's not going to dish the goods out here on newsletter Guru TV so let me let me ask you what's tell I talked I already teased it so what are some of the ways people can learn more about it from from your training well the easiest way uh, and, and I do believe in giving value as a matter of fact <laughs> I, I have to tell a little story do you okay mind? no ha ha I, I had somebody that just bought why my LinkedIn profile sucks and exactly what to do about it okay. course great course to help you develop really the winning profile but uh, I had a conversation going with them via email mm -hmm. and and I said well you're asking a question but it's in my course uh -huh. and they said well I haven't got into your course yet I've been getting all your free tips ah. because all you have to do is register on the website okay. you get free tips once twice a week and the tips are enough to help you substantially so what's the website LinkedInFocus.com. Register for the free tips. You're going to love them. There's also some valuable resources, some free reports and all of that. And obviously, if you just find yourself so enamored, you want to buy some products, you can do that too. You can do that too. So LinkedIn Focus, no hyphen, just LinkedIn LinkedInFocus.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Niall. You're always you, a great Jim. guest. Hey, folks, if you found some value in this week's episode, and I dare say you did, or rewind it and go back and watch it again, appreciate it very much if you'd click the like button or the share button wherever you're watching it and help spread the news of my smart marketing and business building advice that you can find each week here on News Out of Guru TV before the day's out. Look for ways that you can add some more value to what it is your core product is doing because it's all about retention. If you think you need more business, don't think, I got to go get more new customers. Think of what else can I sell to customers have already given me money because that means they've, you've already overcome the no like and trust hurdle. So sell more to your current customers, add more value. When you do, your customers will stay longer. When they stay longer, they're going to spend more and they're going to refer more and that's a great thing. I'm going to have to speed up my clothes because there's some massive carts rolling this way and that's probably what you hear uh, before the days out also go put a smile on somebody's face one random act of kindness at a time if everybody puts a smile on somebody's face wave minute traffic let them get ahead of you in the checkout line hey I love your coat by the way do whatever you can to put a smile on a stranger's face the world's gonna be a much nicer place my name is Jim Palm I'm the host of news at guru TV I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster until next week for another great episode you take good care